Okay, hello again. This is part eight of Let's Play Eye of the Beholder. And we've just got the special quest for level five done. We've been sent by the dwarves to investigate why invest or to sorry to find their to rescue their prince. So let's go through this illusionary wall and we find a scroll of haste. And the scroll of haste. Now I'm gonna use the scribe the scroll of haste now because haste is so important. I mean you can just slice through the image like under oh, the stone necklace there. Now the stone necklace gets you through this portal which takes you to the hub room on level seven and from there you can then go to levels nine or even ten. But I don't quite think ooh, more experience. Right. Memorize spells. Ah haste. And pray for spells. I don't quite think though that we want to go to such a high level right now. Instead we're going to go through here and we're going to go to the drain holes room. Ah yes, we've got some bones. Who's to be to Todd Uphill? Ooh, a halfling. Uh, falling down one of the drains. Hey, it's not funny, I'm a serious adventurer. I've been charged to complete many important quests. Perhaps you could find use for skills rogue in your party. Already got one, thanks. No, sorry. You're lost, fools. Well, that's okay. He wasn't that good anyhow, Todd Uphill. What I really want to find is um, Illyria, the mage. But, oh yeah, I'll just um, dig about around here. First, though, we're going to go through here, through these doors, and we're going to go to the to the drain holes room. Please reset drain holes when finished. Good. Now, this room, whenever you go, this is like a little maze. And whenever you go a longer space, a hole appears behind you, so you can't backtrack. But also, it will block off other passages as well. And there is a way around it, but once you get out, the only way out is down. As it said, greed will be your downfall. Now, you're supposed to do this, and there's meant to be a bit of an annoying teleport puzzle at the end, but I've never been able to do that, in this no and you, so I'm just going to skip it by leaping down one of the holes, which actually does take you into level 6 proper, and not just like the penalty area, so to speak. So you go along here, there's a teleporter there, and you go along, and you find a key. You bag the key, you go around here, you open the door. Now you don't go there because that's dead and although you go this way, this way, snag the sling. Now do you go and get the ring or do you go and get the axe? Oh good question. I go for ring taken, give that to Imelda. I hope I've got the key. Yeah, I have got the key. So if I press that. I'm going to go this way instead. You find another key. And in this area, grab the axe. And unfortunately, I'm a little stuck. There's holes in front of me and holes behind me. I'm going to leap down the drain hole into this part of level 6. Now, level 6 looks the same as the levels, but it's inhabited by these folks. Kenku. Not too diff Fairly can be dangerous, they can. But as long as you just keep moving around them, like this, and don't let them... They do fire magic missiles at you. Then you can go through and kill them off. You press this button here, and you enter another area. Let's go of leave that. Slap it with a magic missile. Now they fire magic missiles at you, but they're easily dodged. They also don't necessarily run around, so to speak. So you have to be slightly more creative when dodging them. Quite a few of these King and, and and thankfully they respawn and they're worth a lot of XP as well, so you can happily grind away. Find a key there. There's a lot of these keys. Now that is back over. I want to just 
sort out the rest of this part of level 6 first because back onto level five. I'm going to have a quick rest and then I'm going to do the drain holes and this time I'm going to go through, I want to know, I'm going to go through the drain holes multiple times because those boots we saw they are, I believe they are magical and also because those Kenku respawn and there's scope for grinding. Now Which way? Don't get the boots. Ah, plate mail. Nice. Who's got the highest decks? I think we should change. Imelda gets the uh -huh. invisibility ten foot radius. I scribe that. Now, one thing. There's a key here, and the key opens the wall to teleport. Where's this? Haven't I already been it? No, I don't think I have. This bit is sort of like an it's an eternal loop, but you have to if you go back on yourself. Annoying that is because soon you can't actually, I'm not sure how you get over this that pit. Although you can just jump down it and go to the fun part of level six. Now we're back here in the dwarven near the outside the dwarven camp. I'm gonna go back, reset the drain holes, and snag those boots. If we go along here. Boots taken. Tag hole doesn't have any. Fall down the hole. A quick rest. Right now, as you can see, level five is fairly uninhabited. It just exists mainly as a base for the dwarves. There's a few spiders like we saw, but other than that nothing much of great note. So, with this in mind, go along here, and you go up here and you come out behind the hole. Now this leads to the horrific teleporter puzzle I was referring to. There's very little up here that I really want, so instead I'm just going to be a bit cheap and drop down a hole. Now uh, this is where there's a lot of Kenku flying around here, and there's also a major enemy. Ah, snag the egg. Well, I say major. But he's sort of like uh, the halfway boss. However, since we are running out of time, I'm going to leave fighting him to the next part. Thanks for watching, and.